What's up, Matthew? What can I do for you? I. <laughs> Me is down here on the physical plane having an issue. <laughs> so, I came to converse with you to see if you can help me figure out what she's going to do about this here issue. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I feel like, I don't know what I feel like. That's why we here discussing it with you. You know what I'm saying? So, here's the deal. We have a person that we like. And there is another person that has put a target on them. And we know because we've been on the receiving end of said target. But we're not sure if we should say anything or not. Ooh, wait a minute, child. Let me just sit down. Let me meditate real quick. Listen to what you're talking about. Okay. So, okay. So, well... We don't want to be in no mess per se. But we also don't want to see another person that we like harmed. You know, so we just really just don't know what to do at this point in time. So, you know, we just going to sit down and ponder about it heart to heart. I, I, we, we, me to me, you know what I'm saying? Have a conversation with me, myself, and I, and you know. The I is the higher self, the inner self, the best part of us. So we trying to converse with you so we can figure out how me can execute what she needs to execute on this good physical plane. So what you think? Ooh, well, well, I'm glad y'all consulted me. Before y'all decided to run off and do any and everything, that might be the wrong thing. <sighs> well, the word that I got. Let's take you back to where you come from. We're going to go into the good book. Let's look at First Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 11 and 12. Now, Verse 11 says, stay calm, mind your own business, do your own job. You've heard all of this before. So this not new to y'all. Mind your own business is the key point here. Okay. Now it says, we want you living in a way that commands the respect of outsiders. Not lying around and sponging off your friends. Okay. Now. Basically, a couple of things going on here. What this is saying is that you basically just need to mind your own business. I know you don't want to see your friend harmed or whatever, but you have to understand that people's lessons are their lessons. They not yours. You can't save people from what they need to do. If they can't see it, then, you know, they just have to learn on their own. It's not your business. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, what happens is, if you say something, then you are going to put yourself at the risk of being in the center of some type of foolishness that is not leading a quiet life. The goal is to have a quiet life. Understand? Death. Definitely got that. That's why, you know, we wanted to sit down, have a conversation with you. <laughs> right. Then it says, not sponging off your friends. See, if you say something, this is the world. This could be <clears throat> um, interpreted as something like clout chasing or trying to get your stuff up. So you just need to mind your business and do what you need to do and just leave it alone and let other people learn the lessons that are for them. They don't have to do with you. Mind your business. Also, let me tell you this. Have a seat. We need to talk. <laughs> now, <clears throat> what you need to realize is you need some hope. And why do I say that? Because in this particular verse, well, this particular chapter, 
we have, and I don't mean to shine on you right now. I just want to make sure you understand. We have Paul talking to the Thessalonians, okay? And the Thessalonians do real good about loving each other, okay? And being faithful. But what they lack is hope. Now, I need you to take this to the consciousness of me. All right? Now, <clears throat> I think I already know what you're talking about. Because we already know you already gave us the word before. Well, you ain't really give us. I think it was Spirit gave us when we went decorating for some things. But, uh, hold on. Let me tell me to grab that. Myself? Girl, yeah, see, you know. What does that pillow say? Hope. To have belief, desire, to place trust in life plans. Exactly. Now, let's sit back down. What you need to convey to me is that she needs to have more hope that things are going to work out and not be inserting herself into things that is not her business. It's not none of her business. That's that person's business. And that's that person's lesson. And if she feels that it's too difficult to watch, she don't have to watch. She can just go find her some business <laughs> and not look at it. Right on me. I'm glad I stopped by to talk to you. So now we will make sure. That me does exactly what she's supposed to. And that is mind her own business. Exactly. So, the word of the day is hope. Mind your own business. You heard that, queen? Mind your business. <laughs> did y'all enjoy my little skit? If you did, leave a comment. Let me know that you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more like that. Let me know. I think I'm going to incorporate that so y'all can kind of see some of the mental processes I go through with myself when dealing with certain life situations, especially coming from a spiritual perspective because everything starts in the mind with the mentalism and we have conversations with ourselves and we'll develop this more, give you more insight into some parts not all parts but some parts of my psyche and how i move and why i move and why i do the things that i do sometimes you know what i'm saying and if you have something that you would like me myself and i to discuss y'all can shoot it to the email you can put it in the comments you can put it on the community wow we'll be more than happy to discuss whatever y'all got for us y'all stay dark and lucky while spreading your love and light we'll see y'all next video <laughs>